Well, good evening. This is Pete Townsend from Port Langley uh, interviewing a, a wonderful contestant for the Rose Hips Queen and the Kinetic Sculpture uh, Ball coming up and featuring this year's crown. This year's crown inspiration comes from the theme Once Upon a Fairy Tale. The kinetic bird, chicken, with his wings, <laughs> flying high in the tail, and the, the veil or the tail. Anyway, this is the ninth crown we have made for the kinetic sculpture race, and the winner does get to keep it, and it is uh, eventually going to be passed on as a kinetic heirloom. This took me about, uh, let's see, about eight hours to produce uh, inspiration that comes from Hobart himself. The actual base of the crown is a recycled brass flower pot that has been reshaped and decorated with the crescent moon and the various kinetic featuring chicken with the fairy tale wings that is all part of uh, Hobart and his uh, ability to create from other junk that was left down and as a characteristic of coming out in the middle of the kinetic sculpture races. We're in Port Townsend, Washington at the 2011 Kinetic Sculpture Race. I am Princess Pea Shooter, the new 2011 uh, Rose Hips Queen. And uh, we've just done the water portion of the race. Some better than others. Much cheating was seen, bribes were had. And uh, we're about to pedal up this giant hill behind me. We'll see how that goes. Ooh, it was deafening. The crowd was deafening. It was fantastic. Oh, five minutes apparently. Oh, what flashed through my brain. Just all the thank yous that I had to remember. My boss and my mom and my team and all the queens that have helped me. I think I said thank you to the Blue Moose and thank you to the crowd. My recipe was for our traditional family drink, world peas. Uh, which which we typically imbibe after we defeat the tourists of Wooden Boat. You know, we defend the kingdom from the tourists and then we, we celebrate by drinking world peas and the recipe goes a little something like this. First you must harvest only the finest peas. Once the peas have been harvested, you must find only the roundest peas. The roundest peas must then be mashed through the finest golden grater. And then you must strain them and take the essence of pea and ferment it and that will give you world peace. That was my recipe. Thank you for watching and for the glory, indeed.